Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Up to now we have seen about how to define the effects in the, in the Angular application we have seen. Now in this video what we will try to do is, we will try to implement the effects in our application, in our auth application, in our uh, NGRX uh, application, auth application we will try to see. Before implementing the effects thing, first we need to define the state for the auth. So here we are having the auth module. So right now we don't have any uh, auth, auth state for this one. So let's try to create the auth state. Then afterwards we will try to implement the effects thing. So now here what I will try to do is, I will try to create a new state folder. And in this state folder, I will be having auth.state.ts. Okay. The basic bare bone we will try to create. Auth.reducer.ts. These are common. So if you want to maintain in a single file also, you can maintain. So I will be creating auth.selector.ts. So right now we don't have any selectors. Just I am creating like that. I am keeping it. And auth.actions.ts. This is the important one. So we have created the four files. <clears throat> now what I will try to do, I will go to the auth state and here I will try to implement export interface auth state. Okay. And here this is the auth state. So let's don't implement anything. So export constant initial state of type auth state. Okay. So now here I will implement like this. Okay. So this is the basic, basic one. So I will let remove this initial state. Okay. So this is the state. So right now we don't have any state. We'll go on. We'll implement the state. Uh, what are the properties involved in the state? We'll go on implementing. Now here I will go to the reducer, and here I will implement export function. It's a pure function, right? So now auth reducer, I can create auth reducer, and it will take state and the action. And here I will return uh, un underscore auth reducer, and I will send the state comma action. Okay. So now here in this auth reducer, so that that method I will try to implement here. Constant auth reducer is equal to create reducer, and here it will be taking the initial state. So what is the initial state? Auth state. Okay, we need to import it the auth state at the top, and here you will be having the on actions and all those things. Right now we don't have the actions. Let's we'll implement afterwards. So just it's a bare bone I'm creating. Let's go to the actions. So here we are implementing the uh, we are implementing this one right. So what is the login functionality? We'll try we are trying to implement. So we will define the actions which are responsible for the login. So I will be writing export constant login start. So when the user submits the login, uh, when when the user clicks on the login, so I can write something like auth page okay login start or something like this. And another one will be the login success okay login success and this one will be fired when the login is success okay so when the backend gets the success and here you will be having login fail so you will be getting this one login fail okay now let's create the actions for these constants so if you want you can create at the top at the bottom constants also but for the simplicity sake i am creating export constant login start is equal to create action Okay, this should be imported from the NGRX store. And here, if you want, you can write like this auth page, everything you can write it for the simplicity purpose. I am writing login start, and this login start will take the props. What are the props it will take? Email and the password. We need to send it right login start. So, email and password. So, these are the properties it will be taking. And another one, what we will try to do is I will try to implement the export constant login success also. Login success create action okay so that will be of login underscore success and right now we'll keep it is empty so we will define it afterwards going on we'll define it the props what it will be taking okay so this is the hey, why it is taking like this comma okay okay email and password it will take okay <clears throat> so we'll try to implement like this okay fine so email and the password now what i need to do is so we need to implement okay now we will try to so here we can write something like e email of type string and here also we can mention the typing also we can mention okay password of type string no perfect so action is also defined reducer is also defined state is also defined and selector will try to define so the selector what we can do here i can write export constant the auth name auth state name auth underscore state underscore name is equal to auth i will try to keep the auth okay so which we will be declaring it in the store module 
so now we need to declare this a complete auth in the store module so here i can go to the auth module and here at the bottom i can write something like store module okay store module comma dot for child sorry not for child for feature right so for child is for the routing for feature what i can do auth underscore state underscore name and i can mention what i can mention here <clears throat> i can mention the auth reducer so auth reducer so we 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 do we have the auth reducer auth reducer so we are not getting this auth reducer so we will try to import from dot slash state slash auth dot reducer okay now here we will be having auth reducer so we have implemented the auth reducer now what we will try to do is so we will add this auth reducer so successfully we have implemented the store for this auth thing okay so for this auth module we have implemented the auth state so same scenario same same thing how we have defined for the post post we will be having for the post dot module we will be having store module for feature post state name post reducer is having right so the post will be having separate selectors and all those things and for the what i can say for the counter also we are having the same thing same state so in the same scenario for the auth module also we have created a auth state so now what will be the data we will try to decide so going on going on we will try to decide what could be what what is the data we will be trying to saving the auth state we will try to decide so before that what i can say is this so this, so this is the auth module so in the next video what we will try to do is so we, we have defined the state in this module in the next video we will try to add the effect so we will try to create the effect so before that we will try to install the fx library and afterwards we will try to define the effect in the next video okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you